Today we will talk about the composition, why it's important and how the good composition will make your images more interesting and more pleasing to the eyes. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. Last time we talked about the exposure, why it's important and how to get a proper exposure. Today we will talk about the composition. Composition means to compose something, to put something together. Composition refers to the way of how you arrange your elements across the scene. There are certain rules and guidelines that you can follow to make your composition much pleasing to the eyes. First, among the others that I want to talk about is the rule of thirds that we are using right now while filming this video. The rule of thirds means that you need to divide your image, your frame, to nine equal rectangles, to divide it with two horizontal and two vertical lines and to put your subject across those lines or on intersection of those lines. In that way you will get much better composition and you can tell the story a little bit better. The most common mistakes that all beginners are doing is that they frame, they put the subject in the center of the frame like I am right now and they leave a lot of empty space above the subject's head. So that's not good. The better will be to follow that rule of third and to put a subject, in this case me, in one portion of the frame like I'm now on the left side of the frame and I have some empty space right here so now the composition is much better it's more appealing to the eyes and the story telling is better this way majority of modern cameras and mobile phones has that option to turn that grid line that represents the rule of thirds on so turn that on that will help you to frame your photos better to have a better composition the next rule is actually to put your subject in the center of the frame that's something opposite that I told you in the first rule, but that is justified sometimes when you want to have really nice symmetry. So basically you can have horizontal vertical symmetry or if you want to frame me like I am right now in the center of this road, you have really nice space left and right from uh, myself and the composition is really good. The next rule is called leading lines. That's a cool one. Leading lines will lead your viewer's eyes through the frame and focus attention on most important elements. It will lead your viewer's eyes through the main subject of the frame. So you can use a lot of things as the leading lines. You can use architectural elements, nature elements, some roads or whatever. There are a lot of examples. So just have fun, practice and you can make some really cool compositions. You can make some really cool images by following that rule. And you can make your subject more visible by leading your viewer's eyes subconsciously through the frame straight to your main subject of the photo. Next cool rule is frame within the frame. So that basically means that you need to frame your subject inside the frame, inside your photo using some natural elements or some architectural elements or some people or whatever you find convenient to do it. In that way you will lead more attention toward your subject and you can use those surrounding elements to make your composition look much much better and interesting. Another interesting thing is that you can introduce some foreground elements in your frame if there is nothing interesting in front of your subject. So just by moving your camera a little bit left or right you can find some interesting elements that can either make a frame for your subject or just be there to make your photo a little bit more interesting and you will have some cool completely different composition like we have right now here and by moving your camera left and right or by shooting from more up above or low below you can change the perspective completely and that's another way how you can change your composition so you can even change the lens you can use wide angle lens or telephoto lens and with that you can change composition completely and change the feeling overall feeling of your image there is another rule that is called rule of space rule of space is related to the direction where your model or your subject is facing towards so that basically means that you need to leave a little bit more space in the front of your model or subject than in the back of it so for example if i'm facing on my right side toward that direction there my frame needs to be composed uh, like that I need to have more space in the front of me like I'm looking something there then if I looking right here it will be a little bit odd to look at the end of the frame so if you're shooting a moving moving car leave more space in the front of that car etc just experiment with that you will get a point Sometimes you can introduce a lot of empty space around your subject and sometimes those photos can be really attractive. It creates a sense of simplicity and minimalism. Opposite of having a lot of negative space around your subject is to fill your frame completely, leaving little 
or no empty space at all. That can sometimes be really attractive too because helps yours to focus more on the details like eyes or if you're shooting architecture to uh, texture of the buildings etc. There are a lot of other rules that we didn't cover today but this is more than enough for you to start using them and to be better as a photographer to have better compositions. But have something in mind, those are just the guidelines, just things that will help you to make a better compositions. It's not like a must that you need to use those rules. It's just for you to have more sense how to compose your subject or your frame in a different situation. So all those rules are meant to be broken. But first, learn, practice and master them and then you can do whatever you want. You can break all those rules and play with your composition. So all those rules are there for you to help you to be a better photographer, to have a better compositions, etc. So just play with them, have fun, experiment and enjoy the process. So that's it for today, guys. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer them. Have fun and see you in my next fun episode. Bye bye.